Here at Sketchosaurus HQ, we care about what you think, and we think about what you say. So here's what you said and what we think about it. You know, at Sketchosaurus, we sometimes feel inhibited by the need to stay within scientific boundaries. You, on the other hand, do not. In answer to the question, what killed the dinosaurs? Some of you appear to shun the asteroid theory in favor of blaming the mass extinction 65 million years ago on American martial arts expert Chuck Norris. Whilst others seem to think extraterrestrials were the cause, um, we'll look into it. <laughs> Not. After our video, Could T-Rex Swim? We asked which dinosaur you'd most like to share a hot tub with. Ridley Clementicus favored Leo Pluridon, the killer whale-sized aquatic plesiosaur predator from the mid-Jurassic. And Ridley, where were you hoping to bathe? The good man wanted to share his hot tub with a micro raptor, whilst JPOG 7 TV wanted to know why that particular diminutive dinosaur had four wings. The truth is, JPOG, no one really knows, although one explanation is that it used its feathered limbs to help it glide from tree to tree because feathers that long would be a constant trip hazard on the ground. Okay, next question. Why did Spinosaurus have that spin on his back? Spinosaurus, in fact, had a huge sail running along its back. This was used either to help it to regulate its body temperature, attract a mate, deter enemies, or perhaps a combination of all three. Next. How strong was a T-Rex bite? 5,700 Newtons. Next. Uh, which is the smartest dinosaur? Hard to say, but Trudon was a close relative of the birds. Get me. So would likely be quite intelligent. Next. What was the biggest dino ever? Argentiniosaurus, 37 meters long and 8 meters tall. Next. Who would win in a fight? T-Rex or King Kong or Godzilla? What? Can you imagine? Uh, I've got to go and lie down. Keep those questions coming, and maybe we'll deal with them in a future episode of Sketchosaurus. <sighs> Give me a cold flannel. <laughs>